Shoot for the moon. That's exactly what Tata Sons has been doing ever since N. Chandrasekharan, the man with the Midas touch, took over as the chairman back in 2017. Right in the middle of a stormy boardroom battle, N. Chandra took over at the helm of the conglomerate. And as they say, the rest is history. While the Mystery and Tata families were blaming each other for the struggling financial health of various group companies, N. Chandra hit the ground running as he charted out the One Tata strategy embarking on a 3S plan, simplifying, synergizing and scaling. A fitness buff and a runner, N. Chandra has emerged as the marathon man in the corporate race as well, as he and his A-team swiftly and yet steadily turned around Tata Sun's debt picture. In fact, ever since N. Chandra took over, Tata Steel has cut 29,000 crore rupees of debt and will continue to pair it further. And the success story of Tata Steel is not alone. One of the biggest comeback stories in the auto sector is that of Tata Motors. Not only has the car maker revamped its cars like never before, but it has also managed to reduce debt while doing so. Tata Motors has managed to cut debt by a whopping 22,000 crore rupees since 2017. And that's not all. Under N. Chandra's leadership, Tamo aims to have zero consolidated net debt in three years' time. One big task ahead of N. Chandra was to simplify the structure of the mammoth salt to aviation conglomerate. Chandra led Tata Sons increased its holding in various group companies. In 2019, Chandra's Daska Dam strategy saw various parts of the group companies bunched into 10 main verticals. Who knows the importance of a strong digital presence better than tech titan N. Chandra, who grayed his hair as TCS boss? N. Chandra has ensured that each of the group companies is future ready, be it artificial intelligence, data analytics or electric vehicles. N. Chandra led Tata Sons is making products for the future. Staying ahead of the curve, Tata Sons is looking to build a super app that will be the one-stop shop for all Tata products. And a big step in this direction is Tata's big bite of the e-commerce pie by acquiring Big Basket. An able leader, a turnaround master and a pioneer, N. Chandra has won the hearts of not only the employees, the various stakeholders and the markets, he has also managed to captivate the hearts of his peers. It's absolutely no wonder that his contemporaries, including the likes of another legend, NRN Murti, and ace bankers Deepak Parekh and Uday Kotak are all singing his praises. And, well, a big round of applause is coming from none other than the big bull himself, Rakesh Junjunwala. Impossibly the dictionary is a word in the dictionary of fools here. And Mr. Chandra is not used to talking out of his hat, he knows what he's talking. He won't talk on anything in the AGM unless he has some plan for it. The market capitalization of Tata Group companies has doubled to 17 lakh crore in four years of N. Chandra's regime. Like Chandra once said, our job is to run our marathon, not to be distracted by somebody else's sprint. Marathoner N. Chandra has a long way to go. Got a report? ET now.